fountain art. Yes. Because what? like fountain is spontaneous, so in my case also when I draw something, there it is. I do not know what I'm going. I follow a streak of light. Mm -hmm. As soon as I start painting or drawing, I see something is guiding my hand, guiding my fingers. So that is why it was possible for me to paint thousands of it. What what is guiding your fingers? As again, the source, my prayer light from here inside. I feel somebody is guiding my, I call my inner pilot. A few years ago, a television crew came and they uh, they saw me, my house, how fast I was doing, and I, I as here also I don't have any training. It is absolutely amateur. Whatever comes from within, I do, I do it. I'm. I'm a student of the inner school. Inner school. <laughs> there I get only inspiration, not information. In the outer school, we get, uh, um, most of the time we get information. But in the inner school, we get inspiration and aspiration. There, we don't use the mind. In the country, we unlearn. In outer school, we learn so many things. So many things we learn in outer school. It feeds our mind, and then quite often we misuse the uh, things that we learn from, the, from with our mind or inside the mind things that we learn. But when we learn in, in our inner school, everything is positive. It is not destructive. Is, is this within everyone? It is every, spirituality is not the sole monopoly of any individual. We are all God's children. Only it is up to us whether we want to become good citizens of the world, whether we want to destroy the world, or we want to love the world, build the world, and make a, uh, and transform the world. The supreme goal of art is self-discovery, or God-realization and life perfection. Life perfection is unconditional and constant surrender to God's will, the will of the Supreme. When I paint, I devotedly follow a streak of light. It is quite visible to me. This streak of light comes from my inmost soul or my inner self. The Supreme says, I want you now to be my absolutely most perfect instrument. I want you to, from now, you may not become an artist, but if you become his best instrument, you become at that time his living breath. Through his art, Sri Chinmoy invites humanity on a journey of spiritual discovery. We just don't know if there is a world's record for the number of paintings done in the shortest possible time, but on tonight's edition of Bert Haney's People, he may just have found that man, a guru, living in Queens. 10,000 paintings in 100 days. That's 100 paintings a day. How could you do it? I have not done it. The Supreme in me, who is my inner pilot, has done it in and through me, and I just became a dedicated, devoted, unconditional instrument of his. I dedicate these soulful paintings to the supreme artist, the absolute supreme I dedicate 
these paintings to the seeker artist who would be visiting this art exhibit i dedicate these soulful paintings to the lovers of spiritual art i dedicate these aspiring paintings to my spiritual children whose contribution can only be felt and never never be expressed in words to all the disciples i offer my ever increasing gratitude heart supreme 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 i bow to thee i bow to thee i bow to thee